Hello and welcome to this Business Connection Live special. Now you may have heard the expression FinTech. What does it mean and who is it being targeted at? With me today I have FinTech Circle Innovates Chairman. Uh, her name is Suzanne Chisty. Suzanne, explain to me a little bit about the market sector that we're talking about and also a little bit about your organization. Yes, the market sector FinTech is in the UK worth 20 billion pounds in revenue every year and it consists of two large groups. One are the traditional players such as existing software technology companies selling into large financial services and the second group are the disruptive uh, companies which are new fintech companies developing disruptive business models and fintech circle innovate is a company focused on helping established players such as large banks insurance companies taking advantage of the fintech revolution. How big an issue is it for the large financial institutions? It is a, a big issue now because what we have seen is that the large players, large banks for example, they have got so many competitors coming from all sides, from supermarkets, you know, having their own banking licenses to the tech giants, Google, Apple, everybody wants to allow and, and have got wallets, you know, allow online mobile payments to small disruptive fintech players developing solutions which can't take away their market share. So from a, the point of an established player, it is a big challenge and they need to come up with the right response. Are they recognizing the issue, do you think? I do think so, because we have seen that most of the largest banks and leading banks globally have set up multiple ways of responding to the fintech uh, challenge. One is by investing into fintech companies. The second one is by funding, setting up accelerators, incubators, and thirdly, also by innovating in-house, developing the right approach of innovating in-house and for what FinTech Circle Innovate is all about is really to work with those established players to help them find the best approach and the best response to what the FinTech world is uh, opening up for them. At the very top level then, what are the key services that you provide to those players? Uh, we provide education to them, business development, consulting and also the ability to uh, connect with fintech companies which can help them solve problems or challenges they face. And what do you think the key benefits are going to be once that they have worked with you? What will they get out of it? And so fintech circle is about helping uh, senior level executives in financial services to digest and to take advantage of the trends by curating uh, the, the right uh, content you know for them so that they can develop the best approach uh, the other advantage of course is our network is very large fintech circle you know is one of the established brands in this fintech space so we have got we we are well known across the whole um, environment of entrepreneurs the best fintech entrepreneurs you know working with us the best investors early stage vcs are working with a fintech circle and so we want to connect them all with the largest established banks and insurance companies to ensure we can help our customers develop solutions which really make a difference what reaction have you had in the market so far? Uh, we are working with uh, a few players and we have gotten a very positive feedback because I think everybody realizes that we can help and speed up this process of either, because from a banking point of view, going on your own or doing it on, on your own is not really the right response because you don't have time. You have to act very quickly because the whole market is changing so fast. So working with FinTech Circle Innovate speeds up your time to choose what is best for your organization and therefore develop and deploy a response to the fintech revolution. And finally, do you think a financial institution can ignore this? Definitely not. Unfortunately, the fintech and the opportunities are so large and so important for banks that they can't ignore it. A leading banker once said, looking out at the competition which is there, you know, they are going to eat our lunch. So they really, there's no way of not doing anything. One has to respond and every single institution which is established and wants to grow going forward has to come up with its own approach.
with me from FinTech Circle Innovate, I have the CEO, Nicole Anderson. Nicole, what gives your organization the authority to actually go to the large financial institutions and actually anybody in the market for that matter to actually be able to inform and to, to tell them what they should be doing? Thank you, Steve. Well, you know, fintech actually, in, in terms of a term and a buzzword, is actually quite new. Um, but people forget time moves on very quickly. And, you know, in terms of being around the team, the team themselves have deep domain capability, um, whether that be from you know, origins in financial services. My, myself, I've had a career in technology for over 20 years. Um, and the rest of the team have a blend of really strong commercial and technical capability around what it takes to turn big company thinking into agile um, methodology. And what we're bringing to market, we think, is something that really um, brings true value to the intersection of the new agile ecosystems that are shaping and forming and the needs that are really growing in demand by established um, large corporations and financial services entities. What, as an organisation, do you see as your vision then over the next five years? We can see where we are right now. It is kind of exploding at the moment. Will it just become the norm in five years' time? Well, I like to talk about, you know, kind of breaking down fintech and saying, what's, what, is it a capital F or is it a capital T? Mm -hmm. And of course, I would have to say, you know, our whole world is changing because of technology. And so when it comes to fintech, the technology element is absolutely the thing to concentrate on. Um, you know, I, I think the, the banks know themselves that uh, whilst they have inherently invested in technology, when they look outside the walls of their entities and their organizations, their biggest threat are the the big technology companies, and you see that, right? So the big giants moving um, into the world of either, you know, making money or moving money are not banks. Do you think established institutions, established financial institutions, if they ignore this, they ignore it at their peril now? Certainly, um, you know, I, I think I think they know that. Um, there isn't a bank that I know of or talk to on a you know on a weekly basis that doesn't understand a threat. It's the assimilation of okay, so what do I do? What do I do about this issue? Um, where we see the gap. Um, so it's all very well having an innovation agenda and an innovation team and going to events and sponsoring incubators, but really when it really counts. Uh, how how is the person who signs the check going to really come around? How is a procurement officer in in a large institution going to make sense of a, a different discipline? And you know, looking at an M and A activity with an entity that's potentially unproven or hasn't been around for a long time. So business models are definitely changing. And so the banks do realize it's it's not so much what they do, and um, they know they need to do something, it's how they go about doing it. Recognize the value of being open, opening up um, transparency, and it's already, you know, the pressure of regulation is really for forcing that through. But every other market play and industry segment um, has embraced openness, open innovation, um, and collaboration. And because these ecosystems are so powerful, specific, specifically now, and because technology is, is, is creating that impetus, um, big, large entities have um, a, a fantastic future if they're able to be open and assimilate and combine and collaborate. Nicole Anderson, CEO of FinTech Circle Innovate. Hello, you are the Chief Commercial Officer for Vintech Circle Innovate. I am, Steve, yes. So tell me, what does that mean? And first of all, just, just give us that one-line summary of what the services are that the business offers. Yeah, so you've, you've spoken to other people within the organization about our vision and about the way that we want to work with large incumbents and the agile startups. So the services, I'm at the heart of the delivery of the services, which enable us to do this, and we've divided them into three pillars. 
insight, connect, and transact. And in this way, we're able to leverage our really deep financial services backgrounds with the agility of the startups and to deliver programs and methodologies which are proprietary to us to large organizations and startups to give them the best value added chain journey that they can have. We want to embed innovation in the mindset and the culture of the large incumbents. We really want it to be a, a sea change. It's very easy to, to use the buzzwords. Mm. So, you know, we hear the word innovate, but when we say innovate, in reality, what does that truly mean? Well, uh, you know, I, I think it, there's a general awareness that innovation is, is something that we have to innovate or die, so to speak. Um, and it's not always so easy, for, especially for a large organization, to understand the steps to the journey and really embed them and bridge the gap between a large organization and a more disruptive startup. You're right, we can pay lip service to it, we can talk about it, but it's not as easy to change the cultural aspects of a large organization to adapt. And it's not as easy for a startup to understand, for example, a regulatory issue that they're up against if they want to sell in or be a source for a larger organization. They are sort of at opposite ends of a journey and we are aiming to bridge the gap and bring them together in a more meaningful way. Now, I know that you personally have quite a lot of experience in, in the whole funding circle. Yeah. But when it comes to working within startups and in large financial institutions, what experience do you have there yeah. to bring to them so that you actually truly understand the issues and the problems that they're going to have as an organization? Yeah, very good uh, question, because re my, uh, my own background, I started in one of the largest financial services organizations in the world quite a while ago, <laughs> it was a while ago, and we had over 40,000 employees at the time, and I was in a global payments arena. And I've always stayed somewhere in touch with finance and financial services throughout my career journey. I, as you know, had two startups of my own uh, that I sold, and so I understand the journey of a startup. And probably laterally in the last three of the 14 years that I've been doing funding for businesses, I've been solely focused on technology businesses, and of course, inevitably, that brings into play fintech businesses. What excites you about this whole marketplace? What is it that really gets that the juices running on this? You know, for the first time, we're actually seeing something that is, uh, there's, there's a massive shift and a sea change in financial services. We've kind of gone along with, you know, variations on a theme. I can do my banking online, for example, but now I can do my banking in my hand. And is, that might be that I can tap instead of having to go through anything uh, you know, that, that's long or onerous or complicated for me to understand. It's, quite, it, it's, it's a great time to be in financial services and it's a great time to be in technology because there really are changes afoot. Not only, I mean, we talk about disruptive and, and we're not in a position or we don't, we don't take the position or the view to say, uh, big bank, big insurance company, you're doing things wrong. Startup company knows the answer or disruptive company knows the answer. That's not where we, the, the view that we take. We know that they can work together. It's um, quite an exciting and a broad-based ecosystem, if we can use that word, in fintech that brings lots of different services together. If you had to sum it up then, and uh, you were talking to somebody, and you just had it in single sentence, the services you provide and how you can change their business, how would you do it? Our services enable you to really embed innovation in the fiber of your culture, to have um, an organized and a programmatic methodical journey to take these changes on board and to transact with the startups and the large incumbents in the best way possible that is the best value proposition for both sides.